Go check out IGSky.com if you're looking for some cheap FIFA 16 Ultimate Team coins. Also, if you're looking for some really cheap FIFA points, go check out IGSky. Use this discount code Rossi for a massive 8% off now. 8% guys. Go check it out. If you don't want to buy anything like that, you want to buy some cheap games, some new games coming out, go check out G2A. Every link you will need is in the description box below. Enjoy the video! Hello guys, it's Rossi 1990 here, and this is going to be another X Squads video. Today's video, we're going to be looking at AC Milan, some of the X players used to play for them. There was actually a comment in the comment section below the last video, I'll pop it on the screen right now, of a guy saying, If you think this team is good when we're looking at the Manchester United ones, wait till you try Milan. And I'm thinking he meant AC Milan rather than Inter Milan, even though both of them have very sick players in this team. Might get to Inter at some point in the future, but oh my freaking god. Holy shit! To bring back an old saying of mine, this is next level. I thought Manchester United was good, I won't lie to you. This is, this is up there. This is on par, if not twice as good. It's absolutely electric. If you can smash a like button, that'd be absolutely amazing to support this series. If you can hit 500 likes, that'll be beyond incredible. And hopefully you guys can do that. But we're going to start with the goalkeeper. Now this is the only kind of like iffy player in the team. Um, well, there's a few actually, but Jens Lehmann. If we look for, if we search my club, we will not find him. I'm not mega rich, unfortunately. Jens Lehmann, here he is. We'll look at his legend profile. You see, only played six games for AC Milan. But I wanted to get a legend goalkeeper in here. There probably is other goalkeepers who play for Milan who probably are in the game you can think of. But I thought, with the amount of legends we've already got in here, we'll chuck another one in if it's possible. There's actually a few legends who missed out because they played not that many games. I thought we'll chuck in some players who did rather than that. So that's how crazy things got. Jens Lehmann, we all know him for his days at Arsenal. I bet he wish he played one more game. 199. Actually, did play one game. There it is. He went back to play one. <laughs> The scenes. So he actually played 200 games overall per play then. But the defence is absolutely crazy. Absolute mad respect for half of these players. You've got Paolo Maldini. 900 games for one club. I just I, I can't believe it. Some of these players who do that, you don't see that that often these days. I think mean, Giggs, Maldini is obviously other players who have done it. But the, 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 how often you see that? I think I'm stuttering then. It's rare, isn't it? Because people go off to like, you know, MLS or something like that instead of ending their career at the club. Um, like like Xavi at Barcelona went off to um, Qatar or something like that. They do that now, but he obviously hadn't done that. He finished his career maybe on a high. Fantastic old Mateen card as well. 86 pace, 95 defending, and he's an all-round machine with a medium-high work rate as well. Move over to another guy who isn't far off. Him and it's actually this guy, Baras Barazi. Look at his name right, let's look at it. Franco Barazi, I'm gonna call him. 719 games for Milan, ladies and gentlemen. These two, fair play for not moving to another club. Got 33 goals as well, which is a bad return for a centre back. He's got decent passing on the game, but we'll move over to another guy who needs mad respect. He used to have a really good old team card, and um, that was before he got his legend card. This is Alessandro Nesta. He played 326 games for Milan, scoring 10 goals. But like I said, he went to Montreal Impact after that. He kind of did what I've been saying, and uh, he went to do that. But you saw a really sick old team card. Everybody remembers it back in the day. Um, I can't remember exactly what pace he had, but it was a lot higher than 67. So I think it's a little bit of a troll, but pace isn't a massive issue this year. We move over to a CDM now. We're going to go for Gattuso. Now, if we go down... Where the hell is Gattuso? Jesus Christ. Gattuso? Where are you, my buddy? Gattuso. Hmm. Why can't I spell his name correctly? Because it's G-A, you bloody idiot. There he is, Gattuso. Finally got him in the team. I'm an idiot sometimes. Um, AC Milan, 468 games. Absolutely crazy record. Obviously played for Rangers as well there, 51 times. Labeled as a little bit of a... Kind of like a dickhead midfield player. A little nippy bastard who would kick you rather than whatever. But nonetheless, a fantastic footballer on, on his day. And uh, a cheeky bastard, by the look of his picture there. Nice little cheeky smile. And um, AC Milan seemed to stick around with their players for quite a while. 468 games, that's incredible. And he gets into this team in that CDM role. He will be partnered by Big Boy Rude Hullet. And I thought I'd chuck him in the team. I don't think he played massive amount for Milan. Actually, no, say, tell a lie. 171 games, also went back a bit eight more after Sampdoria. Or, I can't, like I said before, I don't know which way around that is. He also went on to play for Chelsea, as you can see there which um, 
obviously is sick. And his ultimate team card is absolutely redonkulous. If his defending was back up to 80, I think it was at one stage, he just misses out on his own club. The 80 club at the moment, the Gillette club. Gillette? <laughs> Gillette club, that sounds like an old thing for men. Pull it! But we move it to the right side now, and this is where things get a little bit more crazy banter. Because we're actually going to go for Inzaghi. Now, the reason I've gone for him is I couldn't actually think of a right midfielder who, you know, benefits getting in the team rather than someone like Inzaghi. He played 300 flush games for Milan, 126 goals. Also played for Juventus um, in his career. God, really. AC Milan, 300 games. Crazy record. Really cool. You know, all-round record. He's a good home team guy. Not the best, in my opinion, but not a bad player. Now, we move over to here, and this is kind of like the, the um, what shall I say, wild card of the team. We've got El Shawari, who's not a legend card, ladies and gentlemen. He's a normal freaking card. He's got crazy hair. And the reason I went with him is because if you went back a few seasons ago, he had that really sick team of the season card for AC Milan, and the thought, why not put him in the team? You could have gone for Paolo Futra in this role, but I think he only played that one game for AC Milan, according to his records. I thought... Nah, that's a little bit too iffy. So I decided to dodge that one. Um, and that's what I did, basically. We move over to the camp, and we're going to go for Rui Costa. Another legend card. You guys are seeing the theme here. Milan, 192 games. Fair enough record with 11 goals. Not as many goals as you'd think, probably, coming from a cam sort of player. But maybe that wasn't the sort of player he was. If you have a look at his claim to fame. It's about 30 million in there. I won't read too much into that. If you want to ever stop the video and have a look. Or you can have a look on your own console if you're on Xbox, obviously. Um, but 192 games. Played more for Fiorentina. But still a crazy record for AC Milan. We were to the two strikers now. And I went for the big boy up front. I went for Van Basten. The crazy rated 91 on this game. Mental. Uh, rating obviously he was a sick player. His work rate's a little bit pissed, low medium, but 201 games, 125 four goals. Look at that for Ajax. 133 games, 128 goals. I had a lot of people actually in the comment section below asking me to do Ajax. So if you don't want me to do Ajax, you want me to who you want to see next, obviously, let me know in the comment section below and I'll get straight to it because I'm really enjoying this series. A little bit of nostalgia and all that. And it's just it's it's really fun to do actually looking at back at some of these players. And uh, the next player is obviously the main man, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. We're chucking this purple card while we're here because it's just, why the hell not? And he gets chemistry, of course he does. Zlatan Ibrahimovic moves to um, AC Milan. No, sorry, moves to PSG from AC Milan at the same time as Thiago Silva, who you'll see down on the bench in a minute. But, eight, you know, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, he's been around a bit, hasn't he? And he scores goals wherever he goes. He's an absolute boss. And he's still doing it now for PSG. 90 rated at the moment. Could go higher at any stage. And that's absolutely mental. Moving over to the bench now, we've got Desai. is another legend card you could have used. 186 games. But the three centre-backs are hard to push out the team, I won't lie to you, because Frank Rijkaard just missed out as well. 201 games for AC Milan, they like their centre-backs, that's for sure. We've got Pirlo here, Beard, obviously moved to the MLS now, like I've been saying, some people like to stay. He had a good career at Juventus as well last season and the season before, but he had a good time at Milan, as far as I'm aware. Um, Vieira played five games for Milan, so he's not as much in the team, he's just on the bench there. Alexander Pato used to have a sick AC Milan card, if anybody remembers that a few FIFA's back, Quite a few fevers back now, actually. You used to have an amazing card. I mean, this card right here, I used in one of my earlier squad builders on a Brazilian squad builder, and he was brilliant for me. Five games, six goals isn't a bad return at all. Move over to Shevchenko. Shevchenko. God, I can't say his bloody name. Um, he just missed out on the team. He probably could have got in the team, actually. Crazy record. 296 goals, games, 173 goals. Went to Chelsea, and that big money move didn't really work out for him, even though that's not the worst. I've seen worse, 76 22. It's not amazing. They went to Milan, it didn't really work out to him again. And um, kind, of, kind of his career went down the pan after that a little bit. Uh, we move over to George Way. 201 games there, as you can see. Moved on to quite a few clubs actually. Ended up playing for Man City, didn't realise that. Monaco in there, Milan obviously being the big one with 201. So he just missed out on being in the team. There's Chelga Silva, which I was talking about at the same time as Latin Hero. It's a mega money deal, absolutely crazy deal. Obviously, Paris Saint-Germain coming on to be a massive club now. We've got Laudrup here. This is Brian Laudrup, as you can see. He played for Milan 18 times, so he just gets in there. We've got Kaká, obviously, played for Milan uh, a little bit. We could have David Beckham in here as well, if he's a legend card, but unfortunately, that wasn't a thing. Crespo played for Milan for 40 games there, scoring 18 goals, which is okay return. He played for a few clubs, actually. Obviously, Chelsea being in the Inter as well. A lot of people have actually played for both Inter and AC Milan. It's quite crazy. We've got Oliver Bierhoff here, and he played for Milan. 119 games, 46 goals. Not a bad return at all, but holy shit! I think Manchester United had 12 overall legends. These have got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 in the team. They've got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and there is more. But I thought I'll chuck in a few normal players, just so this isn't a complete legends team. 
crazy, crazy scenes. AC Milan fair play to you for producing so many freaking legends across the across the globe, across the world. And like I said, there is more, but I couldn't fit them all in to a squad. But hopefully you have enjoyed the video. If you have a, a, if you, a like, even, it would be absolutely amazing. Like I said before, let me know in the comments section below. Would like to, to see me do next. Try and make it a team with some sick players, because I feel these are more better to see than ones who have like aged players who've gone shit, like the Leeds one. <laughs> but thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. And bye-bye. Uh, Boop.